Aaron, clearly a lot has happened over the last 24 hours. When did you first get wind that potentially a trade could be made? Really started to come together, I think, a lot yesterday afternoon. Uh, I mean, obviously, with, you know, Kiner Falefa being involved and him being traded just the other day, this, I, th I think this is something that kind of came together last minute and and uh, picked up some steam yesterday and, and seemed to be having that momentum in the evening last night and, and finishing off the deal and stuff. So, uh, you know, just kind of waiting on word if it was going to go through or not. And, um, yeah, I think, I think we're all... Uh, you know, really excited with the outcome. You know, always difficult to see people that you care about leave and, and, and guys that you've been through the wars with and just grateful to Gio and, and Gary for all they uh, have done for this team and, and the relationship that I have with them. Um, certainly wish them well, but feel like uh, we made a really good deal for our team that, uh, last night. You mentioned how difficult it is to see some of those players go, especially Gary being in the system for as long as he has. Were you able to have a conversation with them before they left? I did. I, I talked to both Gary and Gio last night, and, um, you, know, it, it, you know, it's an emotional conversation because... Um, you know, we, we, we are like a family in here and, and you know, you go through a, so much and ups and downs and great and tough moments and, uh, you know, realizing that's coming to a close, you know, again, just hope for the best for them, but um, excited about, uh, you know, the, the deal we were able to make. With Gary gone, what does that mean for your catching situation? Will it be Kyle Higashioka the majority of the time? Well, we're really excited about Ben, you know, who we got. And, and as a left-handed hitter, we feel like compliments Higgy well. Um, so, you know, it'll just be kind of fluid, a, a situation that they'll probably split a lot. But we're excited about Ben's, uh, you know, future at this level. Obviously, he came up and played last year, but we think we're getting a really good defensive catcher with, with a guy that can swing the bat a little bit from the left side of the plate. And hopefully he can continue to develop in that area. What excites you about Kiner Falefa and, of course, Josh Donaldson now at third base? Well, <laughs> Isaiah is, can really play short. Um, uh, really good base runner. Uh, good speed, a guy that's going to steal some bases, um, and and a guy that's very capable with the bat as well. And we feel like hitting down in our order um, will be a really good a good guy towards the bottom. You know, last year had a very solid offensive season as well as really establishing himself as a true everyday shortstop. And um, he's really excited to be here. Uh, we're thrilled to have him. It's a guy that we've kind of had our eye on, I think, for a lot of the offseason. And, and to be able to finally bring him over here is exciting. And then Josh, you know, I mean, he's been he's been an elite player in this league now for a long time. Um, you know, he hurt us a little bit last year. Um, he can still really impact the baseball. And I think probably what doesn't get talked about is still how good of a third baseman he is. Um, you go back and look at some of the plays he made against us last year. You look at, you know, some of the behind-the-scenes number, and it's it's still a really good third baseman. So I feel like we got a really good two-way player, um, really have improved ourselves defensively, but but also a guy that can, will, will complement the middle of our lineup really well. He had some things to say last year as that sticky stuff was going on. It, any conversation need to be had there? Are you at all worried about that situation? <clears throat> we'll, we'll work it out. Um, you know, no question. There were there were some things last year that that happened, and and now you know, as teammates and family members, it, you know, we got to get together and kind of hash those things out. But you know, I think we're talking about obviously two great players, but two really competitive players that that want to win, and that that common theme uh, I, I think will suit us well. Fans still wondering, will something happen at first base? What's your gut on that? Do you think you'll break camp with Luke Voigt at first, or do you think Brian Cashman is still working there? Well, I mean, we'll see. I think, look, Brian and them are working every angle on different things, but the bottom line is we know in Luke Voigt we have a really good player, you know, a guy that obviously last year dealt with a lot of different injuries that kind of derailed his season a little bit, but he's not far removed from from. You know, we, we've seen what he's done in pinstripes as 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 a hitter in our lineup. And so uh, whatever way we go, whatever is to transpire, we know we got a really good team right now. I know you addressed the team for the first time earlier today. What was your message to them? Um, I, I guess, I, I mean, probably dove into a lot of different things, um, you know, as far as, you know, our expectations, um, you know, we want to we want to be champions and um, you know, we obviously have less than four weeks down here of spring training, um, so it's important that we really get after it, and 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 we're gonna 
challenge and, and coach these guys hard. Um, but also, you know, striking that balance between knowing we have the urgency of getting ready for April 7th and that clock's going to create some pressure for us. Um, but we also got to keep in mind we're getting ready for 162 and beyond. And, and we've got to keep that big picture in mind as we do push our guys here to get ready for that April 7th. Aaron, I could keep you here all day long, but I know you have work to do. So I'll let you get back to the cage. But thanks for joining us on Hot Stove. Awesome. Thanks, Meredith.